Hi, my beautiful Geminis, my smooth talkers, <laughs> the twins, the infinities. You are the infinity symbol, so here we go. Right, Gemini, welcome back to Baby Bars. Let's get into your weekend reading. Wow, I've just seen a Harris Hawk. Wow, I used to see the Harris Hawks and um, the Red Kites where I used to live in a village. I've never seen one over here yet, and, I've, and um, I'm back in my hometown, and I've never seen one, but that was beautiful. So you could be seeing um, Birds of Prey this weekend, Gemini, okay? So this is a weekend love reading for you. What do the gorgeous Geminis need to know this weekend? Okay, meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Pisces. Why? Why, why, why? You'll know why. Okay, I feel a storm coming. another storm coming although it is my brother's um the anniversary of my brother's death on tuesday and um, we're going to visit his grave tomorrow so um i really do feel like he's gonna possibly give us a thunderstorm but anyway right sorry gemini what do you need to know what does gemini need to know you got universe so the universe is guiding you to that special person allow everything to take its natural course so yeah uh, so meditate, contemplate, um, go into hermit mode, reflect, um, do a bit of soul searching and let the universe take care of the rest, okay? The universe has got somebody planned for you who is supposed to be in your life, okay? Right, what does Gemini need to know um, this weekend in love, please? Find yourself some balance. Two of swords and the ten of swords, not making a decision or not wanting to make a decision. Um, about a betrayal, you feel really stabbed in the back, or well, somebody feels stabbed in the back by you, but I, I, I'm feeling this is your energy, you just want some, you want some peace and quiet, why is the Ten of Swords here for Gemini, Ten of Swords, what, I was going to say, what scares me about these two cards coming out, this could be about work as well, um, you, I don't know, obviously I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but there may be talks of letting you go from a job, and this is being hidden from you. Because the Eight of Pentacles is crossing. There may be talks. I'm not saying that you're going to lose your job. If this was in the reverse, then yes, I probably would have said what you don't know is that you're about to lose your job. But because that is crossing you, that because that is crossing the energy of the moon, this could be um, that there is talks about you losing a job. But if this is a love situation, this is supposed to be a love reading. Um... You could be secretly thinking that this is just not walking. W working, not walking. Well, wow. you could be walking somewhere this weekend. But you could think that this relationship is just not working for me. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I put effort into it? Do I not? Or maybe this is someone thinking, I'm thinking this about you. But I will get a bit of extra clarity on this moon. So this energy clarified the Ten of Swords, this betrayal, this stabbing in the back, this heartache. Okay, something that you just did not want to see, but I think intuitively you knew it was coming, alright? So why is the moon here, oh my gorgeous Geminis, the king of cups? Someone is hiding their feelings and emotions. It could be you, Gemini, maybe you're hiding your feelings and emotions. Ten of pentacles in the reverse. You feel like that it's just not working for you. With the Queen of Pentacles, you could be married to someone or you're in a commitment with somebody. And you could feel that it's just not working between you two. Um, I'm hearing you two are actually having a lot of arguments. Possibly about a family situation, I don't know. But how does your person currently feel about you, Gemini? How does your person currently feel about you? <sighs> Seven of Swords. <sighs> this person feels like it's, it's hopeless. That it's not going to work out with a star in the reverse. That is hopeless energy. Seven of Swords crossing. They don't know whether you're being sneaky or deceptive. Or you don't know whether your partner is being sneaky or deceptive. But this is their feelings towards you. 
They don't know whether you're cheating on them or whatever. Clarify the Seven of Swords crossing. The how this person feels. Yeah, um, your person, unfortunately, they think you, you're, you're cheating on them with the Queen of Wands, with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, who you're, not, and they feel like you're not making a decision about you trying to have. They think that, uh, right? If you've got children with somebody else, if that's the, who this Queen of Wands is, the person you're currently dealing with thinks you are cheating on them with this ex of yours who you have children with that you're trying to find balance but you're not making a decision maybe this person has asked you to cut off an ex and you're not going to especially if you have family with them the devil's up this person's toxic sorry gemini this person is toxic could be a capricorn you're dealing with right what action is your person going to take towards you this weekend Spine, stalking, hacking, they're going to communicate with you. What is your action towards them this weekend? Your action towards them. You want to make it work, you do. The magician is on the side. So you may try a little bit of manipulation, but you are manifesting this Ace of Pentacles with your person. But we've now got a Queen of Swords in the mix. We've had too many court cards come out already, um, Gemini. Your action towards them is that your guard is up. If your partner has accused you of cheating, when you know you haven't, yes, your guard is going to be up, and you're being very truthful and honest. Okay? And if your person really doesn't believe you, then let your person get it from the horse's mouth. Show them this video. Okay, but you are telling your person the truth. You want, you want to have this Ace of Pentacles with them, but you feel like you may have to try and manipulate the situation just a little bit to get what you want. You know, what else, Gemini? Yeah, truth and clarity is going to come out. Do you know what I've just heard, Gemini? This person is going to be smiling on the other side of their face when they realise you were telling the truth the whole time. That you weren't cheating on them. You are telling them the truth. You're not cheating. Is your partner cheating on you? Is your partner cheating on you, Gemini? Well, they're certainly given to somebody. Prince of Pentacles and the Hermit. Well, this is Prince of Pentacles. It is Gemini's partner cheating on them. They are spying on somebody else. They are talking with somebody else. Why is the Hermit here? They could have told you that they blocked somebody, but they didn't. Strength and courage. It's, this person is extremely egotistical. All right. So the person that you're dealing with, it could be a Leo, Gemini, okay. They are extremely egotistical. They do things for clout. They love the attention. So, yes... I'm not sure if they're actually cheating on you, but they certainly are talking with somebody else because princes and princesses are actually pages, and pages is communication. Swords of the tarot is communication. And this person is all up in their ego. They are loving it. But the hermit, they are trying to do it in secret. So they could be accusing you of doing this, that, and the other when it's them that's doing it. So you may want to pay attention to the red flags, or you may want to look through their phone, because if you do look through their phone, you're going to get the answers you seek. What's going to be the outcome between Gemini and that person this weekend? What's the outcome? Heavy, heavy burdens, too much baggage. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, no equal give and take. Oh, but trying to avoid this tower. The tower's got to come down, I think. Clarify the tower in the reverse. But how it's gonna go between you two, Gemini? I think you're gonna you're gonna end it. You're trying to avoid an ending. You're trying to avoid an ending, and you're trying to avoid this missed opportunity. Or this is your person, but there's no equal give and take. The outcome is no equal give and take. It's just gonna be a burden. There is room for a second chance with the judgment here, and the Princess of Pentacles. You may get an, get an apology from this person, but Gemini, do you want this? Are you sure you want this? Because the outcome is avoiding a tower, trying to avoid an ending. Gemini, 
do you want this person? You're making a break for it. No, Gemini, you don't want this person. You're trying to find your escape. So, Gemini, that's, that's your reading. I'm sorry, love, I wish I had a better weekend for you. Really do. I'm sorry, my babies. My heart's actually breaking for you right now. <laughs>